the Viking crew was walking and walking and walking up the north and finally they saw something. Rig was like, yo Halvard, what you see? And Halvard was like, I see the wall. And Rand was like, I see the wall too. And Egil asked, so we are still in Canada. And Borgil said, it's not Canada, it's eternal winter. And Borgild was like, I see the wall too, let's go there. But Rig said, do you want to be just another brick in the wall? And everyone laughed because it was so much fun. However, monsters, frozen monsters were awaiting the crew to attack them when the eternal winter is over. So, we had to prepare for a heavy, heavy attack? No, defense. Rig said, Halvard, take the right flank. Borgild will be with me. And Halvard took the right flank. And Liev took the left flank. And this is how the journey of chapter 10 started. I apologize for this stupid story, improvising and such. So, as always, allow me to show you a quick start, how to start this chapter with nice balance. And it always starts from building a house and scout camp. Now, I have, I've picked Borgild because she and her bear have actually pretty nice defensive bonuses and winter prevention bonuses so uh, it's quite perfect for this chapter for this type of quest mm. first we discover this tile over here which is the forest and it contains two sheep also along with uh, brown bear, if I recall correctly. Let's see. Yes. So our scout is going down. We get to the bear. Two sheep. Yes, I was right. So slaughtering those sheep will give us food to colonize this area and this area, which are food tiles move here this brown bear is tough as always we have to be pretty fast because okay no time for cheering because our wood is going down and we don't want It to go down too much uh, sheep slaughter colonize and up here mr. scout mrs. miss scout whatever whatever you are sheep come on we got 40 of wood which is Forty, which is perfect to build fisherman's hut, assigning woodcutter, and assigning builder for fisherman's hut. Here we have another forest, and here we have another animal tile, which uh, allows us to build hunters lodge. Bear, bear, you go first. <laughs> After you. And you see now we have pretty balanced startup. We assigned second woodcutter. Now we assign 
fisherman here, fisherman here. We will build another house in a second and then uh, hunter's lodge here. Take over this and I will start. Actually, I, I started. I will discover entire area here leading to the mobs, frozen mobs, which will attack me soon year two there will be first pack of mobs uh, to attack me so i have to be prepared but for now let's skip to the part where i have all the tiles here area land discovered okay meanwhile i will get to mm, build healer here trading posts to not lose any coins healer of course to regain health for my heroes and another woodcutter here so let's get to work as we discover the map in chapter 10 we find wolves then next to our forest and we have to really quickly and nicely get rid of it before the first winter it will prevent from well, not nice situations and, and, you know, step backs. So it's, it is enough that I stay on the wolves then tile with my heroes, Borgild and her bear, and new wolves will not be spawning. I've noticed that it happens. Maybe I'm wrong, but it works for me. All right, and healer, because that fight was pretty tough. And I'm getting back to discovering further. And I will be back to you after winter. All right, it's year two after winter's winter. I have what I wanted to be discovered, discovered only here left. But let me show you now. Mobs will be going from, of course, this way and will be spreading in three ways here left center and right i have to defend this tile and this tile so in order to do that i will have to colonize it of course and build defense towers here here all the way here here and here right so this will be necessary except the the army i will have which i will talk about later so phase one is to provide me with maximized food flow. Wait, one other house. Oh, and by the way, I've stayed here on this tile and look, no wolves spawned. So I was right. I can colonize it now. So phase one is to colonize all the food and forest areas and build food and silo and the silos next to it so this will give me like i said maximized food and resource flow next phase will be building defense towers on each tile and phase three will be getting to iron and stone to upgrade our buildings and of course defense towers and to train my army i will bet on axe throwers because defense tower will be on each tile like i said and it will be acting as tank defense tower so i don't need warriors or shield bearers i will just be getting um, throwing axes at mobs while the mobs are focused on defense towers I hope I'm making myself clear. So, let me finish phase one first. Silos. Winter's winter hits the fan. I'm almost done with siloses. There are, there is one on each food tile. This one is finishing. And I'm finishing construction of second defense tower here's the here's the first one it will stop 
the first pack of mobs which will s happen um, year two after after this winter's winter so now i'm waiting for the first attack it will happen like i said after this winter's winter then i will need 500 units of food to colonize this area and this area like fast because if i don't do that halvard will and i will lose uh, iron so i don't want that and now it's just waiting for the spring to come and first mobs will be released you know it looks like not much but they are many and they are pretty freaking strong we have valkyres we have draugrs and desert giants right there are no like wolves or weak mobs they're pretty strong of course draugrs are the weakest but they're still pretty freaking strong and they require nice firepower to stand against of course i will colonize this uh, forest as my frontline point okay it happens see they wake up and they go my way uh, all right borgild will take this side here how many mobs they're coming here and here Valkyrie is coming let me quickly upgrade weapon smith all right all right we have them here okay first attack no big deal They are pretty freaking slow, but they are many. Oh crap. And Halvor took over this area, so I have to get back fast and take over. I, I cannot lose this iron. I cannot lose it. Okay, he is building. So what? I don't care. I really don't care. Come on, fight them. And I will take over this area here. I have to steal this. This is like unscripted, not expected. But I have to do it fast. Well, my defense stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, he's taking it. Damn it, Halvard. He took my iron. Damn it, that was unplanned. All right, uh, here two hunters dead because they were attacked. I, I totally missed what happened, but whatever. Liv is still attacked, but she will be fine. Okay, Hunter, my goodness, that was, I'm pissed. Seriously, why you took it? Can I build mine in here? No, I cannot. Give me back that stuff. All right. Well, it will be more fun. Yay, Betsy and her friends is back. Yay, hello. <laughs> you know, on the second thought, uh, this is actually not that bad if uh, Halvar takes over um, Iron because now he is responsible to defend this area here and if I took it well I, wa I would have to take care of this right so now I'm focusing only on this throat here this uh, you know narrow path uh, I'm building mines my workers already mining uh, extracting stone here and here will be oh there is no limit okay okay but I will develop it and get some iron i don't need that much of iron like i said on the other side it's not that super necessary to have that iron but it would be nice but also it would require me to build defense towers even here and take care of this part all right second attack is happening right now 
rig kit don't make me curse uh, I have upgraded tower here this one shall be upgraded too here I have some heavy construction going on and uh, miners move oh my goodness we move to here wow look at that this is heavy but I'm doing okay I have to just watch the HP okay another one is coming whoa I get the worst okay step back step back step back step back let them attack the tower and now attack I don't want to lose the board guild okay you have to you have to step back bear yeah I cannot see their HP, HP this is freaking annoying okay I've survived the attack no one is coming from here they are taking over of course Halvard so I'm whoa uh, I need yes of course villager to upgrade uh, to repair this okay they are taking over so Halvard is an but I'm waiting here leave I don't care about you seriously sorry but yeah mobs are staying here Halvard good job you're an idiot okay so I have my pack of military camps here this is second one oh whoa 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 what is going on here ah no it's nothing it's false alarm but stay on this side fix me yes that was the second attack it was pretty rough but i made it all right this is it last winter's winter i have shortage of food but that's okay betsy can sacrifice herself and with friends to give me more food i need 200 to yes i have 200 and this will allow me to recruit like nine axe throwers all the defense towers are upgraded i don't have any defense towers at my last point which can be destructive let's hope not i will assign one villager later to go and just fix me all the towers but now i have to get ready to recruit okay i cannot wait any longer i must recruit axe throwers upgrade it collapsed no uh okay one now miners i still have some gold okay i'm recruiting if you didn't notice all right that's it winter is over and they are coming damn it this is too much man this is too much yes stop talking this is the stupidest thing okay I'm, i think we're gonna lose this tower or not throw throw yes they are on whoa step back step back step back everyone step back this will be freaking rough why are I, why are you there okay they, they just humiliated 
I need two more, come on. Valkyrie. Wow. Well, I will have to one more tile and I have to throw everything I have. them damn it okay so we'll be they will be going here I'm throwing Okay, it's going well. All right, all right. I have no villager. Wow. This is freaking bad. They are attacking from this side. Give me some. Okay, take him over here. What now? Okay, that's that will be. Tag damn it! They are positioning themselves. This is dumb. Okay, step back, step back, step back. They are coming my way. Okay, this one is down. This will be fine. This will be also fine. All right, that's not bad. They will be ripped like right now. All right. And what else is new? Okay, so. That was not that bad. I wonder, I can only m imagine how it will be in extreme difficulty. But, <laughs> well, I'm leaving that to you. All right, last mob here. Don't stall. Come on. Okay. I was a little nervous, you know, at first, but yeah. Very defensive, very defensive, and then attacked. Okay, so let's proceed. Yay, it's melting. <laughs> and our crew is passing to the last chapter, which will be ultimate, and it will feature Egil. Egil is back. For now, thank you for watching, if you did, see you in the next chapter, in the last chapter, or in other videos, take care, bye!